Thank you, Jesus. Just worship Jesus. Just worship Jesus. Zapa papa kaso korobo kose tere bakata la bande de besa. Zepe pe 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 ke tere bakaso kodo bosa tala mana na bando do bosa kaya na na bande de be. You are Yahweh Lord. Zapa papa kaso korobo. Matala manana mandodo bose ke pehele de bakata la bakaso kodo bosa tala mande de besa. Nana, there is no can you, Jesus. You are King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We've come to worship and adore Your holy name, mighty God. You alone are worthy of this worship, King of all glory. Be magnified in our midst, Jehovah. She papa papa se tere bakata la bakaso kodo bose tere be. Se papa papa se tere bakata la manana mandodo bose tere be. Zetaya manana mande, zakaya manana mandoro bo. Re papa papa se tere bakata la bakaso kodo bose tere bakata la manene besa. You are the mighty God. You are the most worship Jesus. Shetala manana mandoro bo se tere be. Re papa 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 se tere bakata la bakaso kodo bose tere la manene besa. Nana. Let's look at you, Jesus. Your name is far above all the names, mighty God. Shinte matala bakaso kodo bose tere bakata la manana manene be. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, mighty God. Shinte matala bakaso kodo bose tere bakata la manene be za. Nana, this luck unto Jesus. Nana, this luck unto Jesus. Father, indeed, we worship you this evening, King of our glory. We acknowledge of your greatness, Jehovah, that your name is above every name, King of our glory. And therefore, we have come in confidence in your presence, knowing who you are, Jehovah God. And knowing that you are the meat of every need, King of all glory. This evening, have your way, King of all glory. We open up our hearts and our ears to hear from you, Jehovah. Have your way, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for the mission. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know time is fast spent. We just want to just go into the word shortly, and then we'll I'll be done. So I won't take uh, the normal time. Just a short word. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you can, uh, if you have your Bible, let's open um, the Bible to um, John, the book of John, the Gospel of John. Chapter 14, from verse 12 to 13. So this is what the word of God says. Uh, just give me an amplified if you can. I just want to touch on faith, just a little bit of faith. Greetings from our pastor, he's out of town. But he has passed his love to you. So I won't keep you for long. So uh, in the Amplified, this is what the Bible says. I assure you most solemnly, I tell you, if anyone steadfastly believes in me, he will himself be able to do the things that I do, and he will do even greater things than this, because I go to the Father. Father, we thank you for your word. May it bring light into our system an answer to a question a direction to stagnation Jehovah God have your way even this evening even in this short word I know it's more than enough for you to meet every need and to bring deliverance and liberty into our lives we thank you Lord 
in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. So that's what the word of God says. There is an assurance. There is a there is a, a promise that the Lord gave us. And we saw it happening. This is what he said. He said, if you steadfastly, not just believe. Yeah, there are people who believe about God. And there are people who believe in God. Yes. But the Bible says, if anyone steadfastly, steadfast, steadfast, meaning consistent, persistently believe in Christ, believe in Jesus, persistently. What does that mean? It means um, uh, circumstances and situations being relevant to influence you from believing in him. Steadfastly, you are consistent. You are holding on to without any discouragement or any falling back. That's what the word of God says. If anyone steadfastly believes in me, he will himself be able to do the things that I do. That's already an assurance. And you know what the Lord did when he, when he was on earth? There's a lot he did. Praise the Lord. Not only did he uh, change water to wine. <laughs> Hallelujah. The, uh, also he, he raised the dead, healed the sick. Praise the Lord. He caused a revolution. Hmm? He birthed a movement. Hallelujah. So already, if you look at what Jesus did, uh, that the Bible records, it's already a lot. But this is what he says. That not only will you be able to do the things that I do. The next part of the verse says, and he will do even greater things than this. Already there's a promise there. That you will be able to do, you can be able to do, praise the Lord, much more than what you're reading in the Bible. Hallelujah. And we saw it happening. During Jesus' ministry, did we see him, uh, 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 his shadow, uh, healing the sick? We didn't see that. But we saw with Peter. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So not only did Peter walk on water the way Jesus walked on water, but also he was able to go further and he was, and he was walking and his shadow was healing the sick. That's already much more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then what, what did Paul do? Paul was, uh, because of the masses and the urgency of, of, of healing needs, instead of the sick being brought to Paul, he asked for clothes. Praise the Lord. He prayed for clothes. And those clothes, when they were taken and they became in contact with the sick, the sick got healed. Hallelujah. That's much more. Because we are we are told in the word, those who lay hands on the sick, the sick recover. But did he talk about the cloth? All these are aspects of faith. Praise the Lord. And that and that's encouragement to you that the Lord is looking upon us to do the much more. Praise the Lord. Okay, some will ask me, hey, hey, I'm waiting on God. I'm waiting on... Let's look at this verse in, in uh, Mark chapter 11. Praise the Lord. It's, it's a scripture that you, uh, most of you know it and even some may, may, maybe even have preached or shared with somebody. Mark uh, chapter 11, verse 20 to 24. Again in Amplified, please. I'm about to finish. So, hallelujah. Mark 11, chapter 20. Chapter 11, sorry, verse 20. The Bible says this. In the morning... When they were passing along, they noticed that the fig tree was withered completely away to its roots. Okay? So this is a story whereby uh, Jesus, when he was uh, uh, going about with the disciples, he saw a fig tree and the fig tree had nothing to offer. <laughs> okay? And he, he cast it to the root. Okay? And uh, the following day, <laughs> they passed along and they saw the fig tree actually it was already withered. So the cast took effect. The word that uh, Jesus uttered took effect. Okay? Let's go to the next verse. And Peter remembered and said to him, Master, look, the fig tree which you doomed has withered away. And let's continue. And Jesus replying, said to them, have faith in God. Again, another something again about consistency. Yeah, it didn't just end there. You see, the, the King just version and other versions do not amplify to this. And that's why I love the amplified version. He says, have faith in God constantly. Praise the Lord. 
There is something about persistence and consistency in faith, brethren. That's what I'm trying to, to show you. Okay? This is the next verse. Truly I tell you, whoever says to this mountain, now, let me ask a question. Did he say, truly I tell you, whoever waits for God to say to this mountain? There's something here he's telling us. Whoever says to this mountain, it is us to take the action. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You may be waiting on God and God is waiting on you. Praise the Lord. There's something about um, walking and moving in faith. Now, don't misunderstand me. All along, for the last, uh, I think, four or five weeks, we've been talking about faith. And we're talking about, we hear what he says, and we do Okay, we speak what we hear him say and we do that which we see him do. Cindy, that we are walking and we are, we are doing as per what the Lord wants us to do. Praise the Lord. There is something more here. Hallelujah. Because the moment you get to understand the character of somebody, you understand the will. Because the moment you start uh, engaging with this word, engaging, not just reading, engaging. Engaging means you are getting into the word, you are looking at the words, and you study about the words. You go deeper, praise the Lord. And the beauty of this fact is that in this age that we are living in, the resources, the Bible tools that you can use are free of charge in these phones. Hallelujah. Whether it is Apple Store or Play Store, uh, Android uh, Play Store, the Bible tools are there. You have no excuse in this generation not for, for you not to go deeper in Bible study. You have got no excuse. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, and, and this is a time whereby the inform, it's a, it's called information age whereby there are all, matter, uh, all, all manner of lies and uh, twisted uh, 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 scripture that are flying all over the place. You find them in uh, Google, in um, all manner of places. And that's why it's required of us as believers to stand up. Those who know. <laughs> Hallelujah. How did you know? You knew by engaging in the word. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That you can stand up on your feet and declare that it is not so. This is so. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, when you are called to uh, 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 by, by the court to be a witness eh? in a certain case, you gather up the courage to go to the court Yet you know very well, if you're in the court system, if you do something wrong, you can still be locked in. You know that, that, you know, you know that huh? it's called content, con, uh, uh, contempt. Yeah? Whereby if you go and start uh, misbehaving or putting your earphones or talking on the phone, you can actually be locked in. <laughs> That's why people are afraid of courts. But imagine you are called upon the court, you are told you are a witness, and you go there. You gather the courage to go and stand before people, and you tell your testimony of the situation. Why? Because you know something that somebody doesn't know. Okay? And your testimony can be used by the judge as evidence. Hallelujah. For him to be able to decide on the case. To place judgment. Hallelujah. And what is faith? Faith is the evidence. Ah. Hallelujah. It is the evidence of things hopeful. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is something about faith, brother, that we can go deeper. Yeah, as believers, uh, let, 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 us, let us choose to go deeper with God concerning faith because there is this first value faith, huh? first value religious faith that we, we tend to place all the burden, all the responsibility on God, yet you are supposed to play the part. Praise the Lord! There is this uh, 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 first uh, surface, surface level faith whereby anything wrong you, you, you blame the devil and yet you have got the power and the capacity to change that situation. Hallelujah. Brethren, it's called upon us to go beyond. Hallelujah. It's, there's only an assurance that we can do much more. Hallelujah. And if you can do much more, how? And this is what it says here. Hallelujah. Something about persistency about consistency about constantly and there's a reason why the lord is talking about these words because he knows here or not there are many other activities that can distract you praise the lord but if you face and you put your focus right praise god there is a divine backup amen let's continue uh truly i tell you 
whoever says so the action is upon us whoever says to this mountain be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt at all in his heart praise the lord you don't allow doubt how there's some time back here that uh, uh, reverend timothy told us something about how to 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 refuse doubt or refuse um, contrary thoughts how by speaking in tongues praise the lord speak in tongues i mean don't allow in fact even if you if even if the thought is in your mind don't just speak it learn to understand that thoughts can be planted in your mind the thought that you are having right now is not necessarily yours <laughs> praise the lord hallelujah for many many centuries psychologists and psychiatrists did not understand this concept until recently that you can plant <laughs> thoughts hallelujah so not every thought that you are having uh, has the right for you to speak it you can refuse hallelujah praise the lord you can refuse brethren no 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 you have the power and authority hallelujah amen uh, let's continue i'm about to finish don't worry i'm about to finish uh, uh, the other side. okay uh, yes just leave it there first um be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in all in his heart but believe that what he says will take place it will be done for him something a brethren yeah that you you believe that what you say hallelujah there's something about pumping up yourself with this word to the point that it is so much in your heart that you, you when you believe something you are convinced and you are able to believe it's going to take place praise the lord the same case as i was talking about the court that witness has the courage to speak because he knows he believes what he saw or what he had was the truth and that's why he has the courage to uh, to go to a court and speak hallelujah I know there are some who can be paid to give false uh, uh, witness to for, for somebody. That's a despite. But those who, which is the truth, those who are genuine, they gather up and say the truth because of what? Of what they know. They know something that others don't, people don't know. And they know whatever they're going to say will, is going to bring justice to the case. Hallelujah. And so this is a case here. Uh, that you don't have you don't allow doubt at all in your heart but believe that what you say will take place it will be done for him hallelujah this is the next next verse verse 24 verse 24 and this one says uh, for this reason i am telling you whatever again he's talking about whatever whatever uh, he keeps on saying whatever huh? whatever you ask for in prayer believe trust and be confident that it is granted to you and you will get it now at this level already he believe he trusts you not to ask forbidden things hallelujah that's what he's talking about whatever whatever you see to a new believer whatever might mean even uh, asking somebody's car or somebody's wife <laughs> yeah but for you who's walking in the spirit and you're studying the word you understand the character of who god is and the word has processed you praise the lord this whatever you know what it means amen that's why he can be able to just say this to you because he trusts you to make a right judgment because you know his will amen and whatever you ask for in prayer believe trust and be confident confident hallelujah uh there's some time back there's a, a a pastor who preached a message and in that in his in his in his uh, in his message he, he gave an an illustration of uh something happened that something happened in in ukambani in machakos and um uh i uh, there's a time that gormaia uh were playing i think with other team in machakos and uh, the gormaia fans went there uh and before the match they went to eat in a hotel and they ate yeah they ate they are, you see you know uh gourmet fans are people who can eat okay and they ate a lot after finishing eating they said uh baba talipa see at lipi baba talipa 
and they refused to to pay and uh, bring all manner of chaos in that uh, in that hotel so the owner the the, the owner of the manager uh, stood up and he came and he said hey guys hey guys hold on hold on and told them us we are people of peace we have no problem if you don't want to pay it's okay but remember one thing huku ni ukambani that's what he said and he was very confident because of what he believes okay he was confident say mkumbukeni huku ni ukambani and he stopped there and he went away guess what happened everybody paid because of their confidence everybody paid even those who had paid who had eaten two gallies and they charged one gallie they went back and say hey hey can you charge me the other gallie why because they realized something ukambani and they realized hey, hey, hey ukambani okay in the world <laughs> ukambani <laughs> when someone says ukambani it means eh uh, uh, uchawi so they knew they might go to that match without uh, uh, after that after that match they wouldn't be able to defecate or uh, remove anything from their body <laughs> that's what they knew so they said let us pay oh, that man was confident in what he believes and that's why he was calm and he was able to speak it how confident are we in this word praise the lord eh? when you are faced with a situation at work that uh, your workmates are, are telling you eh nasikia kuna retrenchment and everybody is uh, everybody is, is crying everybody is, is anticipating being laid off uh, uh, they are saying they have taken loans my children are in boarding uh, yeah what kind of a person are you are you going to cry with them or just keep quiet or are you going to declare some words how much confident do you believe in this word praise the lord so that's my encouragement to you brethren about faith that number one, it is upon us to take the action praise the lord huh? number two, is that there is a divine backup and the lord has told you that there is an assurance there's a promise for you to do much more than what you was just reading hallelujah praise the lord and that, that that means you have to be in sync with the holy spirit hallelujah yes as he leads you you do amen amen and thirdly being confident consistently and persistently yeah? constantly confidently believing in the word of god hallelujah praise the lord you need to come to a place whereby you are the word of god is the is the standard it is the um the benchmark praise the lord yeah? when you are looking for amchumba yeah and 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 uh, and all manner of sweeters if you are a lady uh, men are coming to you and asking you your benchmark should be those who are born again <laughs> hallelujah and not carnal believers those who are spirit filled praise the lord that should be a benchmark amen are you getting what i want to say if you are doing business and you're looking for business partners uh, don't just go before anybody eh? your benchmark should be those who are called of god praise the lord believers spirit filled hallelujah amen yeah there's a story i wanted to share with you but because of time i won't uh concerning uh is it ahazia ahazia the in the old testament whereby uh, jehoshaphat um, uh, ganged up with uh, the wrong company and the lord destroyed uh, uh, that business yeah so you go you can read about it i think it's in first kings i think no it's in second chronicles second chronicles so you can uh, read about it hallelujah are you going something this evening praise the lord let's stand up on our feet hallelujah wow thank you jesus and let us just to lift up our hands and just um pray in the spirit or pray in understanding saying this word that you've received and ask god for enablement ask god for uh for for for, for the steps you, you you can take even to reach that consistency level that uh, confidence level just, just go before god and just uh, pour to him in the spirit or just in the understanding father we worship you we magnify holy name for even your word even this evening jehovah god i pray that you shall have your way in our lives jehovah god have your way mighty god that you can even as we walk about uh, and doing uh, the, uh, going about our business our daily business that we shall recognize and know almighty god that in everything that we should do it in faith almighty god walking by faith speaking faith jehovah god oh uh, being in sync with you holy spirit of living god i'll be able to do much more jehovah god that that which you're calling us to do almighty god oh we are stepping out in that challenge jehovah god i'll be able to 
do it, King of all glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, so mighty God, we thank you, mighty God, for this one that's ushering us to another level, Lord, King of all glory, of being a radical Christian, King of all glory, of being those, oh mighty God, who are not uh, who are not uh, uh, afraid to do that which have called us to do king of our glory oh how I pray Jehovah God uh, even as we go about our business and we go about our lives almighty God we shall shine Jehovah God and be our way for others king of our glory we show the way for others king of our glory you be able to do that which have called us to do even as the presence of Christ in this earth king of our glory have your way Jesus we worship and magnify holy name king of our glory for none other is like unto Jesus we bless the holy name Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Lord, even for this evening. I commit each and every one of us, those who are, who are here physically, those who, are, who have tuned in uh, 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 virtually, I pray, Jehovah God, that this word shall germinate in our lives and bring fruit, King of glory. Let it bring fruit to Jehovah God. Let it mark and usher us to a higher level of walking we do in faith, Jehovah God. Oh, let it bring understanding of about faith and about your word, Jehovah God. Oh, I pray that we shall, that the, those who are sharing me shall, shall take the next step and go deeper in the study of your word, Almighty God. The study of your word, Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus Christ, King of our glory. Oh, we refuse laziness. We refuse barrenness. We refuse all man of carnality. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for what you're about to do and already doing in our lives. I cover each and every hearer with the precious blood of Jesus. And wherever they are, I pray we shall meet them at the very point of need, King of glory. Oh, I speak healing to those who are sick, Jehovah God. I speak deliverance to those who are in bondage, Jehovah God. I speak light for those who are in darkness, King of glory. In the name of Jesus, have your way, King of glory, even in the midst of us. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen, amen, hallelujah. Uh, I'd like us to uh, prepare offerings. Is there anybody who would like to uh, pay their tithe? Anybody paying their tithe? You can get an envelope. Uh, the ashes here. Anybody giving their tithe? Okay, if you have your offering, uh, in case you're paying by Mpesa, you can use the, on the wall, it's 247247 as the business number and the account number is 818-000 and if you, if you are with us online uh, the, the details are on the page you can also get the details on how you can be a blessing in this ministry yes you can use the uh, pay bill number 247247 and account number 818-000 and the Lord will bless you so uh, lift up our offerings let's lift up our offerings Father indeed we worship and magnify holy name we recognize the fact that the Jehovah Jireh in our lives, King of our glory. You are the provider. You are the multiplier. You are our sustainer, Jehovah God. And this evening, even as we're giving in, the, in this uh, offering, Jehovah God, we are giving in faith. We're giving us our worship, Jehovah God, knowing King of our glory that you are the multiplier in our lives, Jehovah God. Have your way in our lives. Oh, and, and, and be God, even in everything that we are doing, Jehovah God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. You can bring offerings. Let's bring offerings. Hallelujah. On Sunday, on Sunday, uh, there'll be some activities here. So uh, please set your time, to set, set time that you won't just go. Uh, after service, don't just go home. There'll be activities yeah, for both the men and the ladies. So the ladies will have an activity here. There'll be a, a, an event here, a meeting here. And, and us, Jamas, also uh, will eat together here, but we'll go somewhere as men. Yeah, to learn something. Praise the Lord. Yeah, so uh, on Sunday, don't just plan to stay around after service. Uh, don't just go away. Cancel plans. Cancel other plans. Eh? Amen. And just, just uh, expect to have fun. Amen. Amen. We can stand up on our feet and share the words of grace. Turn to your neighbor. Let's just share the words of grace. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you mightily. Have a beautiful weekend. Amen.